Um, so here's an example, well-known um, process for teachers of maths at least. I think the children find it difficult, but teachers are familiar. Two-thirds equals six nights. Now, the first thing to say is what I'm not recommending here as we teach this to students and until they become familiar with what it all means, I'm not suggesting that we teach them a process or an algorithm for working it out. Um, I think a lot of children have learned a process but didn't really understand it and so they're confused. Um, so rather than that, we're going to help them to understand where the process comes from so that they can consolidate that understanding in their mind um, well before they, they uh, learn the procedure. So the way we're going to do that is to show them examples and give them some tools to help them understand where it all comes from. So I'm going to draw two roughly equal circles and shade in two thirds. So the idea is that we have two circles the same size. Of course you could do this on PowerPoint and so they'd be nice and accurate but this will do for today. So here we have two circles, both of them have two thirds shaded. We'll have the children agree that that is the case. Now what happens, we can ask our children, if we split the second one up like this so that it's divided differently. Have we changed the amount that's shaded? No, we haven't. It's still the same amount of blue shading as was there before. But is it the same fraction? No, of course it's not. On this side, we know this is two thirds. This one, what fraction is this? Well, there are nine pieces and six of them are shaded and those two are equal. By the way, I would encourage you to help the children understand that equivalent in this context means equal. They're equal in quantity, they're equal in amount, they're in every sense, they are equal to each other, these two fractions. So I think the word equivalent can uh, perhaps get in the way a little bit. We can show this with a rectangular region. I particularly like this way of showing it to students. So again, we'll start with two shapes that are the same. We will divide them the same. We will shade the same amount. And so here again, of course, we can see there are two thirds in each one. As an alternative for me drawing the lines, I could ask a child to come out and draw onto the second shape and say, can you make this into ninths? And assuming they understand what ninths are and they've got good knowledge of fractions, they'll be able to do that. And again, we can see that two thirds is the same as six ninths. So that pictorial graphical um, strategy, I think is a really, really good one for helping the students see uh, where these ideas come from and the justification for the method. Let's look at a slightly more advanced example. This is what you might do after they've got the idea via pictures. And that is to start with a fraction, such as three quarters for example, and multiply it by one. Now students should know that if you multiply any number by one, it doesn't change. The answer is the same. So what if we substituted a fraction for one, for example, five fifths. This is a little bit um, abstract, it's based on the symbols, but assu assuming that the students could understand what this means to multiply two fractions together and assuming they know the method or you could quickly explain it to them. If we multiply the top two numbers, we'll have 15, multiply the bottom two numbers, we'll have 20. So we can see symbolically, mathematically if you like, that three quarters is equal to 15 twentieths using that method. And again, of course, we could use a picture. I would probably do this after doing the symbols. Again, to show the students the justification for the method. And I'll just quickly do this. Try and get this accurate. There we go. And again, we can see three quarters is the same as 15 twentieths. So there's a fair bit of understanding for the students to develop and it's going to take some time, so I'm speaking quickly on the video, but I encourage you to take your time, give the students opportunities to think for themselves, to really visualize this and see it in their own minds and so on.